Monday night. Where are we headed? I am told there's a homicide in Portsmouth. It's not close, but it's close enough. We got the wand light that we're going to fire up in a minute. Just, just share that you are watching, especially people in Portsmouth. They don't have a lot of homicides. We're going. But Juan, it's 10 to... I know what friggin' time it is. I have a clock like everybody else. We're going. Either we are the on-the-scene live stream or we are not on-the-scene live stream. Period. End of story. The news will cover at 11. And then that's it. But I believe this is going to go on for a while. So, now, I had no idea this road <laughs> is one lane. No room for error. Anyone have any idea why these cones are here? I don't know. I haven't been south in a little bit. A little while. When was I the last south? I don't know. There's, mind you, there's no work being done. Just cones. But crime scene tape is up. And I believe, I believe we have a homicide. We're gonna, there's only one way to find out. Folks, it's a mission for yours truly. Thumbs up if you'd like to see me activate the wand light. Although I have to be careful with it. Look at this. I, I don't understand. What, there's, no, there's nothing, there's no construction going on in the other. I don't, what, what exactly are these cones for? Let's just create one lane at night. Thank God they waited to right before Memorial Day. You don't want to do a project like this in April. I think it's best to wait until the summer season's upon us. All right. Folks, there's nothing we can do. If you need to, use the restroom. Get a drink. I, I knew, you know, all right, Portsmouth. You're going to have to go over bridges, a little far. I didn't know about this one lane thing. Didn't know about that. That creates a problem. Am I seeing a parent on the other side too? I don't know. Huh. We're one lane at night. Hmm. Well, we're going anyway. I am assuming the audio is fine. You know, when, when you're one lane, I have to be really careful about taking eyes off the road. And everyone's driving much slower than they normally would. Holy cow. Wow. Thanks a lot, McReed. Well, why is this entire thing under construction? You know, it's kind of, you know these people are getting time and a half, but nighttime. I like this. Let's put up cones and we'll charge the taxpayers for nighttime construction. Yeah, but there is no nighttime construction. Yeah, but no one knows that. Absolutely ridiculous. Folks, every time I think... All right, it ends. Every time I think it can't get any worse. This state is the ultimate hole my bear. Oh no, watch this, Harry. All right, activate wand light. You know what that means, folks? Emergency thumbs up.
All right, we're gonna fly over the bridges. Roberta says we're good to go. All right, one light. Look at this blockade. I'll just drive with my blinker on, said the man to the right. One light. All right, everybody move over. I'm in no blanket mode. Just finished editing the video. But folks, good drill, good warm up. Summer's coming. We're gonna be doing the late hours anyway. Not as warm as I'd like it to be, but. Why not? It's a Monday night. Why not have a little fun? There's nothing else going on in Rhode Island. Are you sure you were that? Celtics are about to be eliminated. Tomorrow night. So we might as well go to a homicide. And I've been meaning to, I get a lot of requests from the Portsmouth Middletown area. This could be like a Carnegie Abbey murder mystery. Everybody amuse yourselves. Thank you to uh, Ian, Roberta, Team One. the wand light. passing one, but it's night time. It's one thing, it's, it's one thing night time and I'm flying down 95 to go to Providence and Kentucky, but a little, a little skittish on the bridges. Oh no. <laughs> Don't tell me that's construction up ahead. Holy cow. All right, I won't tell you. Surely you must be joking. I'm not. And don't call me Shirley. One of the all-time great films. Oh. So in other words, the entire state's under current construction. Governor McGreed insisting he will find the money for the laborers.
All right, one bridge down. Homicide, Portsmouth. Normally doesn't doesn't happen. Folks, is a shame. Uh, Patrick Patrick Kennedy no longer lives in Portsmouth. Right now, we could be spreading a rumor it's somehow connected to his estate. Good thing there's no lights around here. It's just pitch black and a bridge. No wonder where these people go off the bridge. They don't need the Samaritans, they need an electrician. All right, everybody, hold on. One light over the Newport Bridge. token. One light. Folks, again, good evening on this Monday. We are uh, mm, 10 minutes out. 10 minutes out. Jack and Claire at the back of the studio. 10 minutes out. We are told this crime scene tape possible homicide, Portsmouth. Right near Portsmouth Abbey. Uh, Carnegie Abbey, excuse me. I'm not trying to worry parents. Nine minutes. Nine minutes to target. The news will do 30 seconds at 11. And one after dark on the scene. Live stream begins. Hola. Thank you for the stars on this homicide Monday night. Everybody, that's I'll I'll start telling everyone to move back. Everybody, please back up. Please back up. Please back up. It's really bothering me. It's really bothering me. Charles right here. Your chance to win a family four pack of tickets. H.A.Y. Fest Memorial Day in Ocean Mist. It's really bothering me. It's bothering everybody. Rhode Island, the Orange Cone State. That should be the new state logo. New state flag. Just what you're seeing right there. Unreal.
at this. Wait, was there a war that we're unaware of? Oh, watch it, Kappa. Which way? Turn right onto Rhode Island 138, Admiral Peltis Road. Easy for you to say. Is Highlight still open? I want to bet 20 bucks on the Spanish guy with tight white pants. I have a gut highlight. All right, folks, seven minutes out. Seven minutes out. Could be a late Monday night. I may get a nightcap at Newport. Okay, now what? I think left up here, right? I mean, correct? Left at the left. Yeah. Fair enough. And step on it. One light. Uh, five minutes out. Five minutes out. Oh, good. They're going left. Turn left on the West Main Road. Yeah, I got that the first time. Later that day. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go, Florida. Is that Doreen Costa? Look at that. What's, what's with the no lights? Oh, right. All right. Out of the way. Come on. Like, I have time for this. A couple of rednecks. What? Why is some... Oh, well, they probably live down in Florida six months in a day. Uh. Oh my God. Are these people go any slower? Five miles an hour? That's it? Kinda of, oh good, they're going left. Go, go to the Waffle House. Hide to DeSantis. Beat it. Four minutes out. We're four minutes out. Taco Bell. Hey, watch it. What are these Providence roads? I feel like I'm in CF. Can I? I mean, this is just above and beyond. Listen, it'll be worth it, though. 
I think. I think it better be worth it. Hey! Alright, now the good news is it's on this road. Cameron's. Come on, where is this friggin' place? Where's the crime scene? Here comes the wand mobile. Wand light. Folks, you gotta do thumbs up every time you do the wand light. Uh, is it still Monday? Hey, at least we're hitting all the green lights. Definitely not in Providence. They don't even line up the lights. You know, I've been in New York where I've driven from, I don't know, like 86th to 30th, like in succession, all green lights, you hit it the right way. Providence, you, you can't drive 50 feet and then you hit another a red light. And even when you get a green, you drive 50 feet and you hit a little red light. They have to redo, recalibrate those lights. Alorza must have done them. Him and baby Fromar. I had a dream we reached the crime scene. Alright, it should be coming up. One minute out, one minute out to the studio. Jacqueline, one minute out. Jacqueline Claire. lights. This is certainly the crime scene. 
Your destination is on the right. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Let's see. Where can I fit? This looks like a good spot. Let's see what the hell is going on. I want a checkpoint set up two miles from here. Who's in charge here? Let's go. One, two, three. Here we go. And let's see what we see. We hear animals. You got camera crews. Look at all these lights. Hey guys. What do we got? Any police briefing or anything? Nothing? Are they outside right now? Yeah, they're all outside. Whoa. There is? Um, way back. There's like a small downslope. Okay. And they're just past that. Whoa. Yeah, so. Still body? I don't know. We don't know. Here. The ME is here? Where? Uh, they're, they're, um, down they're there? Down here, oh, wow. Okay. All right, folks. So we have a scene outside. We have a medical examiner. There's an uh, officer outside. Gotta be careful just because of uh, the road. You can see these cars come up kind of quick. All right, we're gonna walk a little bit. Folks, again, you're looking live. Good evening, everybody. We're in Portsmouth. And we certainly have crime scene tape up. Let's see. Wait, it's tough with these lights. I can't see anything. Let's see if I can sneak in here. There's a downslope. I can't really see anything. Let me go back with the medical examiner. Oh, here we go. Hello. Okay. All right, folks, share that you are watching. Again, it is Juan. We are in Portsmouth. We're going to go back. I'm going to show you so we know what that means. And we have no one inside. So what does that mean? That means they haven't brought whoever it is out yet. So we have some officers right here the side of the yard. Huh. Wow. You guys were first here. So, I arrived on scene first here. Yep. Went to another scene, came back. And when I came back, Channel 10 was there as well. Hmm. So there's like a whole crew over to the side. Yeah, you can see the flashlights coming down. Just a, just a small oh. downslope. Okay. The wow. Is this hot? No. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, folks. Let me show you. See the uh, flashlight way down there, past these uh, police officers. See them in the yard. Now, so this is West Main Road. We have the medical examiner, and you can see the flashlights 
down slope in the yard. Are they flashing the light at us? <laughs> or is that a vehicle? That's a vehicle. Boy, these animals are, uh, good night. These animals are barking uh, nonstop here. All right, I, I fully uh, recognize it's a little um, confusing. Folks, remember, type in, type in if you know someone in the Portsmouth area, and then I will try to um, check. It's a little tough with that light right there, and this is a detective's vehicle, right? So I'm going to see if I can come over to this side. Boy, it's tough. They have the light like right on us. Can I go to the side? Is that a vehicle they have with the lights? I want to show you this is the scene. So obviously something happened here, but you can see the crime scene tape. And... The reason I'm standing here is simply because uh, that light is, is so bright. You see the two police officers in the driveway. Again, it's just a little after 11. Oh, it, um, yeah, there's definitely some crews down that hill. There's a downslope, and that's where they are. Uh, let's see. Yep. I want to thank Roberta Farrell and Ian. I like when people send me, yeah, I, I'm, I'm here. Here's a nice message I'm just getting now. Thank you. John, something's going in Portsmouth. No way. All right, well, keep me posted. All right, let me see what we have. Who's got information? Nobody. Um, again, we are in Portsmouth. If you know of someone that lives in the Portsmouth area, if you think you have info, you can certainly send it to me in direct message. We'll try to filter it through. Now, I want to repeat, I think we have the two officers right here, by the way. Look at that nice coverage, folks, with the wand light. Now, that vehicle right in front of the officers, that light is very bright right into the street, which is why I came over the side. And it's tough through this brush, but I'm gonna walk back and um, and you can see some flashlights into the yard. And I'm gonna be really cautious here. Nope, there's another car coming. Uh, but the, the, the medical examiner is still on scene. Whoa, big truck. So those of you that have followed a lot of our coverage, and again, you're watching, this is on the scene, live stream, Portsmouth edition. If you know someone in the Portsmouth area, Middletown area, Newport area, Quidnick Island, you can certainly type in their name, share it with them. And we're going to try to get some information now. In, in all honesty, I have not dealt that much with Portsmouth police. And they actually don't deal with a lot of homicides. So we're going to try to get some information for you. It's a little tricky at night, but this is, you're looking live. This is uh, live coverage in Portsmouth on the scene live stream where we have had a homicide. Now I want to give credit. Channel 12 was the first one on scene. No problem with that. Thank you. It's a good light. Dorian Costa is watching more now than when she was actually living in Rhode Island. Yeah, I'm 
I'm aware of that. Just send me highlights. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Thank you for sending that. Goodness. And... And they have a suspect in custody. And it's surrounding the man's death. Portsmouth Animal Control has also seen few animal crates. Sidewalk outside the house. Interesting. Okay, so there's that. So they have someone in custody. So we don't have a fugitive. Good evening, everybody. What time? 11.14. Monday night, May 22nd. You're looking Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Just outside of Middletown. Just outside of Newport. And we have a homicide in Portsmouth. Channel 12 will have to include that in their map. West Main Road. Man was killed. And a man is in custody. But we don't know much beyond that. Other than they also took some animals in. Both victim and suspect are men. And then we also have, I want to show you the animal control on the scene. Thank you for the stars on this Monday night, which is your way of saying, you know what? We like this on the scene live stream coverage. All right, I want to show you, as soon as I pulled up, I did notice the, uh, So folks, you have animal control right here. Oh, and there are the animals in the crates. Well, there are the crates. And here's animal control. And these people are talking to the police. Animals in those crates? No. Okay. I could hear a dog barking though. Okay. Folks, it's odd you can see a little child's. The grass needs to be cut. And there's like a little, look at that little tricycle right in front of the house with whatever that is. Look at that with the crime scene tape. All right, here's, you can see the flashlights coming up right up here.
So there's the animal control officer. And we got somebody in the truck. A lot of dogs barking around here. There's more people coming. That's medical examiner. These people are asking them about the animals. We had the medical examiner people. They were in the truck. There was a big, big discussion about the animals. Here goes the medical examiner. And we got some trucks coming out. You can see them with the flashlights in the back.
block. He's not going to let anybody through that gate. I can't. I can't bring any dogs in. So folks, uh, obviously something going on with the animals, but there was a homicide here. Someone's in custody. Med medical examiner seemingly has gone. But police, this is still a very active crime scene. And you saw the animal people go in. These people are trying to get dogs. Not sure what to make of it. Folks, there was a homicide here, but these people seem most interested in some of the dogs you can hear back in the uh, background. Good evening, one and all. We're in Portsmouth, where there's been a homicide. There's someone in custody. It's right at this property. You can see the crime scene tape. It's police on scene. We do not know who these individuals are, but they want access to some of the animals on the property. But there's some... Um, animal control officers who went in and we anticipate they're going to bring, be bringing some animals out. We don't know what it was over. Uh, the, the, the property slopes down and you can still see there's some investigators down past this vehicle that has the light on. West Main Road in Portsmouth. These dogs are just barking nonstop. It's tough to see with that light right here. You can see some of the police with the flashlights.
see the officers inside now that they've dimmed the lights. Let me just show you. You can see some police right back here. Folks, this seems to be another example. I'm not sure exactly how many animals that are here, but they seem to be removing them from this property. And a bunch of crates, and then they went in with more boxes. We don't know how many animals are down here, or what was involved that caused this homicide, but police are confirming it's a homicide, and they do have someone in custody. We don't know who's deceased. be someone who just went to their wits end with his barking dog. That has no effect on the animals at all. They yell their names and it has no effect. None. Folks, we are in Portsmouth, and we've had a homicide right on West Main Road. They do have someone in custody. And right now, Portsmouth police remain on the scene, both investigating, and then there seem to be a number of animals on this property, West Main Road. House seems a little run down, high grass. And they have um, animal controls here with a bunch of boxes or crates, or both. Here you can see, they see the officer coming with the flashlight, right there. So we're not sure how big this goes, but it slopes down, here we go. back a little bit. Okay, so there's Portsmouth Police. He's got a wand light too. Folks, thumbs up if you like the wand light. It's a little tough just because I'm trying to get more information out of the police, but these two individuals, they're trying to get, find out about these dogs, but the police, I don't think they're gonna let them have dogs or any animals on the property. We're gonna find out. Folks, there's Portsmouth Police again going back in. See how they have another yellow tape up there. So they have another level of tape. <laughs> These freaking dogs. No wonder there's a homicide. Now these people are just standing trying to get animals. <laughs> Folks, thank you for the stars on this Monday night. We are in Portsmouth and there has been a homicide 
Still a very active crime scene. Police do have someone in custody. They're not giving us much more details than this, but this property, there seems to be a lot of animals, animal control officers here. And then you have these individuals, and we have no idea what their connection is, but they seem like they're trying to get access to these animals. See the uh, police with the flashlight right there on the property. It's tough with that bright light with the vehicle, but you can see the police right there. And there's a second crime scene tape. We could go in on that. See them right back there? Looks like there's a shed. So we have no idea exactly what's happening over there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, this is a crime scene, okay? There was a homicide, and this is a crime scene. You have no idea what you're talking about, all right? See, do you see the, see the yellow tape? Oh, okay. Good. Here we go. Yeah. One. Good. Good. Yeah, go talk to the police. Oh. This idiot. Uh. <laughs> Lawsuit, folks. Here we go. All right, here comes, I think, another Portsmouth detective. Yes. Police told him to shut up. folks you have, you have um more police arriving on scene i i don't know the portsmouth and there goes here comes another officer so there's more police arriving at the scene in uniform oh my god this lady
if you... Oh, folks, we have a lot of police activity now. Folks, if you were watching on After Dark, I talked about these people that do this, and now this, this guy with the glasses is doing the same thing. I'll see you in court. He tells the police, I'll see you in court. You don't have my consent. He is standing at the crime scene tape. By the way, thumbs up to the Portsmouth police who said, listen, they're just doing their job. They're right in the street. Like, stop worrying about it. Let me come over here away from the light. Although it's tough to see over here. I don't know what is the deal with these people and these friggin' animals. There's a homicide at the house, and these people are so concerned about these friggin' dogs. God. Yeah, I... <laughs> that kid is yelling at me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> One's a little jumpy. Hi, officer. I think they got evidence. Pads. It's pretty dark here. There was someone next to me. Oh my God. If this dog attacks me, where's my pepper spray? Oh, here comes the dog. Oh good, now they can leave. Here we go. Don't tell me you understand that. You know, please tell me you're leaving. And now you're leaving, right? What? Won't be my life. Very I can't imagine. Can imagine. All right, folks, we're in Portsmouth. Let's see if the police will say anything to us. When they're coming out. Really dark. All right, it is, uh, It is Monday night, we are in Portsmouth. Now it's tough with that light, because there are police, but we can't see them. They're right there in the driveway, almost to the side of the vehicle. There's a shed here, there's a homicide here. You can see them talking over there a little bit. So the light of the vehicle makes it tough. Here you can see, um, folks, police right over on this side. Makes it a little bit easier without that light. Again, so they have someone in custody. Have some police that arrived on the scene. 
and then they we're hoping that we're going to be able to uh, get some more information. But the woman right there said it had been a very stressful day and then resulting with a homicide and someone in custody. So I count right now, one, two, three, four, five police that I can see. There could be more folks, but it's so dark, pitch black. And then there's like a shed on the right side of your screen behind that tree. And then there's a shed you can see straight ahead. And then you have the animal people. So we don't know um, whether or not, if in fact, the animal people are just checking on the animals or are gonna take the animals. There's a big conversation going on right now between those three police officers right there. I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit, actually. Right there on the scene. Oh, hold on. Right, here we go. Right here. Folks, look at that. We are at 98% of our goal with the stars. All right, that's a good shot you can see right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got two plain clothes. Nope, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Portsmouth police right now. West Bean Road. Oh, here comes some more. All right. Wow. Whoa, look at all this. Do you see all these police coming? How many is there? Wow, it's like a whole bunch just came out. And now I think they're showing... I think they're showing to some of the other officers what it is that they found. So we go... One, two. Folks, this is a good shot. You're watching live coverage. Homicide in Portsmouth. Hi, officer. Folks, it's always respectful. You can see they're all up and down West Main Road. So you can see um, some of the detectives and the police coming out. Pull back just a little bit, Jacqueline. Thank you. So we got... Um, comes again. Wow. Okay. Now this might lead us to believe it's possible that they are maybe even getting ready to uh, vacate. I don't know. But awful lot of activity you can tell right there with the amount of police that have come out just in the last two minutes. So the medical examiner was here I don't know, you can see they're looking at some things. That I, I don't know the uh, Portsmouth brass that well, admittedly. They don't have a lot of homicides. Remember, if you know someone in Portsmouth, you can type in their name that should notify them, or you can certainly share the page, folks. It is one on the scene live stream. And this is, uh, I'm going to say, unusual. We don't have a lot of homicides in Portsmouth. So the bad news is it was a homicide. The good news is there is someone in custody. 
and it seemingly was obviously targeted. There's a lot of animals on this property from what we know. And the woman right over to the left had said it's been a very stressful day. So we don't know what was going on earlier that then led up to this. Yeah. I didn't get a permission slip from him. I was just, who, who was watching one after dark? I was just talking about that. But the, folks, I wanna reiterate, the police immediately say, listen, they're, they're in the street. They're, they're, they're not doing anything wrong, like enough. Oh God, another one. side on Portsmouth, West Main Road. One in custody, and we don't know who or why. You can tell they're right back there with the flashlight. See that right around? That's a good shot right there. Good shot, Jacqueline. Folks, thumbs up for Jacqueline Claire. Back in the scene. Back in action, running the studio. Finished up the semester. Roberta Farrell's very glad to see Jacqueline Clea back in action. And then, all right, now that they have opened. Much better shot, much better shot. You can see they're focused right around that area. Yeah, folks, you can see the uh, other crime, crime scene tape back there. And they have like a, well, we can't tell. See how that's, that yard slopes down? See how it goes all the way down there to the fence? It's a good shot right there. So see how... That's a good shot, how it slopes all the way down. So one vehicle leaves, next one comes in. It's a good shot, you can see of the property a little bit.
Yeah, I know. That's unusual. I haven't seen that. Double crime scene tape. Now they're measuring over there. See that? Jacqueline, can we zoom in on that? Stay right there, if you don't mind with that shot. Yep. Now we are in Portsmouth. Can you pull it back a little bit? Because some of them are coming out. Oh, they're letting her in. interesting. I'm going to go to the other side where she was. So they're letting her in. I don't think I've seen that, the double crime scene. Unless this area is the crime scene? I don't know. So like this area boxed in around here? Possible? Folks, again, you're watching live coverage on the scene live stream. We're in Portsmouth. We've had a homicide and more activity. Here. We got still very, very active crime scene. Somebody's coming in. You're going to see as soon as they come around the corner, they're waving this vehicle to come in. Interesting. This is not a typical <laughs> crime scene. Wow, I'm very busy right now.
All right, folks, we're going to watch. We're not exactly sure what this vehicle is or what's the significance of it, but... Here comes the woman with her dog. Hey, Chief, you gonna make a statement at all or? Sure. Okay, just hold this just for a moment. Great, right up nice and close. Right up nice and close, yeah. What what, um, what can you tell us um, about what happened tonight? So currently investigating a uh, homicide uh, investigation uh, here at the uh, property. We had a uh, deceased male that was located at the uh, rear of the property. Uh, we do have a uh, suspect in custody. Uh, so we're going to continue our investigation uh, here uh, tonight at the scene. Okay. Um, anything the neighbors or the people of Portsmouth, is this uh, targeted? Uh, the victim uh, was known to the offender. Um, so uh, we believe there's no uh, threat to the public. Uh, okay. And, and the uh, suspect is in custody right now? Correct. The suspect yep. is in custody at the police station. Okay. And what's, uh, it seems there's still be a lot of activity here. Is there a situation with animals or evidence or? Sure, we're just uh, collecting evidence at the scene at this time. So there was animals inside the house. They were moved by the animal control officer. Yep. And uh, we're going to continue uh, remaining throughout the night and uh, collect our evidence. Great. Chief, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Folks, there you have it. Peace to stick around. Good. All right. Listen, it is Juan. We got the chief. We're going to post that. I want to thank everybody. Folks, hopefully the uh, sound is okay. We didn't have another Dennis Warburton situation. But again, uh, it is Juan. We are in Portsmouth. And with that, folks, I want to thank everybody. Thank Roberta Farrell. Thank everybody. Again, that is the situation you can see right here in Portsmouth. And uh, we're going to follow up on this story. Again, it has been. Thank. How about that? Folks, there you go. One on the scene. Thank you for the stars tonight. Go ahead. Sounded great. You know, before I sign off, how was all the audio and everything? Just because we had a minor problem. Great. <laughs> minor problem. We had a minor problem in uh, Patuxet the other day. Oh, good. Nice and clear. Good. I'm going to cut that up. Yes. Folks, wasn't it worth it? Folks, let me show you. Who's the last one? Let's look. Who's the last one at the scene? Where's David? Where's who's the last one? Let's see. Everybody has gone. Folks, last one. Not the last one on the scene. We may try that one as well. Good, excellent sound. Folks, last one on the scene live stream from Portsmouth. See what it means? See, folks, doesn't it worth isn't it worth it to stick around? Thank you very much, folks. And again, that was not I was like Portsmouth. I'm driving to Portsmouth at 1020. Juan had just brushed his teeth and got into the Juan pajamas. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Listen, if we're doing, if we're doing, I want everyone to understand this. Because I preach this. Right. I tell, I tell our crew, listen, either we, are we doing this or are we not doing this? Right. If we're doing this, then we have to go. I, I know it's 1020. I know it's a Monday night. And I know it's in Port, Portsmouth. Are we doing on the scene live stream or not? Yes, sir, I am. All right, well, then we're going. So let the rest of the media leave. 12 left, 10 left. Let them go. Juan's here. Juan got the chief. Thank you for the stars. How about that?
All right. Very good. It was excellent, by the way. All right, folks, we're going to sign off. Again, you've been watching on the scene live stream. Got a lot of info there. We'll cut that up. Homicide in Portsmouth.